Hey there, welcome to Street Fighter. Good to have you here. Over the last day or so, I've been doing a little bit to try to de-rust myself. After about uh, a year-long break towards this game, I came back to it, and the first thing I did was lose about like 800 ranked points, attempting to win a single set of Street Fighter. Now, I did it in the end, but I felt a lot of problems with my gameplay while I was doing that. One of the big ones, obviously, being my total inability to do any of the combos or, like, bread and butters that I used to know. And so I've done a little bit of de-rusting, tried to figure or refigure out most of it, and I think I'm back to a point where I'm mostly capable of doing everything that I could do before. So what I think I'm going to try to do with this game is I'm going to keep, like, I'm going to keep repracticing the things I already knew how to do, but with every session, I want to try to learn something new about my character or about the game again and try to just, like, keep adding to my bag of tricks and, like, I don't know, just getting a little bit better at the game. So the thing that I've learned most recently, or for today, is this was a move I was already using a lot because I like how it interacts with my opponent's drive gauge. It takes about half of a bar away on hit. And when you're just poking away at them, if they're continuously blocking and I'm at like good spacing, they have to do something eventually or they're just slowly getting chipped out and losing all their drive. And it kind of acts as like in mid range, almost like a fireball in that you're just controlling the screen in front of you for quite a distance. But one downside to it is if you use it in like too close of a range, your opponent gets their turn back. And they can use that like low medium kick, they could try to convert it into a full combo. Like you can parry it, but the timing's a little bit precise and it's not like, you know, it's not super great. If they are trying to punish you with that low medium kick a lot, one thing that you can do, if you get the spacing just right, you can get a full combo off of it. So if it's something that you know your opponent is doing and going for, if you know they're trying to punish it, and you see them sticking that leg out a lot, you can start fishing for a bit of a a bit of a cheeky little spacing trap in the mid-screen. And considering it was a move that I was already doing, this appealed to me greatly. So other than the D-Rust, this is what I've added to my toolkit for today. I'm going to take my uh, hopefully largely de-rusted self, and I'm just going to play some more rank games. I'm going to see how well I do. You just gotta keep doing that. Oh, you went for the grab. Okay, not a good round to lose. So this guy is just kind of mashing buttons. I don't feel like he has any idea how to play his character. But, I mean, hopefully I don't lose to it. Ah, oh, god. I gotta react to that sound. My inability to react to the command grab is gonna be my fucking downfall. I don't practice against his zoning enough here. No! Fuck, man! Hopefully I can beat him on the run back. I have no idea what's going on with this guy. I'm at just the long, wrong range to punish like any of this. He's gonna jump out. He's gonna jump out again. I don't know what the plan is for what I'm playing against right now. This is ridiculous feeling.
Yeah, I don't know. This guy's just kind of pressing super punishable buttons over and over again. Pretty obsessed with his, uh, with his command grab. So that was an interesting first game. Not quite what I was hoping for, I'll admit. I'm really sad that I lost the first game. You know, sometimes, like, I can see what my opponent's doing and I can see the flaws with their game plan. And I just, I can't make my hands do what my brain wants to do to punish them. And it's so disappointing. Playing against Terry. A lot of Terry players that I've played against because he came out in the last, like, day or so are very flaily. Like, they don't have a lot of actual game plan. They just have a lot of pressure. Is he a jumper? Doesn't seem like it. That was pure luck. I feel like I accidentally pressed that button there, but I'll take it. Okay, I'll probably lose the round off of that then. I was hoping I could catch him again, but that was very greedy. This guy's planning to react to everything I knew, and I need to make him panic. Take the round back. What? That didn't hit? I feel so old when I play this game, man. Like, I, the amount of DIs that just get through me in neutral blows my mind. DIs and just jump-ins and, like, my inability to just have it on my mental stack and react to the issue. Like, I feel like I always press the button, but I guess I'm just always pressing it late. It's very frustrating. What the fuck is wrong with me? Okay, so he's just gonna do DI after he does like any unsafe shit. And he wakes up with the crouching jab. I think this kills, but I'm not sure, honestly. Nope. I'll take it perfect, though. There was probably a kill combo somewhere in there. You caught me. Oh, I thought I had more bar. Can I chip him out here? I can. I'm really bad at doing anything about scissor kick, so hopefully my opponent doesn't exploit me for that. Okay, bad start. Dude. This guy's got okay. I'm I'm on lock right now. This guy's fucking me up. Oh, that's bad. So this guy's just pressing buttons in mid screen. Well, I'll take the win. A interesting person to play against. You get all types in platinum.
Holy shit, I stole that round. Same as Guile. Matchup's always hard. 40 win streak modern Guile. God damn. Ooh, he's got an air throw? I didn't know that. What the fuck? Guile's got everything. I was literally holding the parry button. I'm not sure why it didn't come out, but my bad. Fuck around. There goes his win streak. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I just ended a 40 game win streak. God damn, that was a combo. I just have to not throw this. All I need to hit is a light. That does not look like a low. What are you doing, man? Modern Guile? Oh, let's do some moves again. This guy's back on his win streak. Well played. Okay, that just tags me. Way too slow. Well played? Fuck. Yeah, I can't take that. Well played. Well played, man. That's fucking hard to deal with. It feels like it's more on him to fuck up than it is on me to play well. But I also have to, like, play well enough to force him to fuck up, you know? Yeah, fucking of course. That's how I lose, man. Pretty good first round. I feel like that last one was an accident. He just did the DP. Definitely overkill, but I didn't know how else to kill from that amount of damage. Really? That's like the one time he doesn't press a button. Hell yeah, I fished them out there. That 
that was pure luck. I just I was just throwing it out there and so is he. I'll take the win though. But yeah, that's been Street Fighter for the day. Thank you for joining me. Drop a like on the video if you stuck around this long. Hit that sub button if you want to see more Street Fighter or just whatever else I'm uploading at the time. Been playing a lot of RTS games recently. Got a Apex video in the works. Gotta gotta edit together all of the footage of Radon, because that took me a while. And uh, yeah, have a lovely morning, noon, or night. Peace.